I think it's an early Zamalek game, not coach Agusti or against coach Marai or Ehabamina against Omar Esham. It's a Zamalek Ahli. We don't have to like make it or personalize in, in any players, coaches, fans. Like, it's a Zamalek Ahli game with all that means, you know, everybody knows what a Zamalek Ahli means in Egypt and uh, that's how we have to play this game. No, in, in my opinion, I think uh, I would say the top six teams in, in Egypt can beat each other. Like, it's, very, it's very narrow, the difference between who is better or worst. And not, or not only between Zamalek or us, or Etihad or us. I think that the, the, the best thing, one of the good things of the Egyptian league is that the top six, top eight teams, everybody can beat each other. So this is one final, one game, and I don't see before this game that one team is better than the other. No, Mark Lyons has been signed for the, for the season, yeah. I think he's a good addition to our team. Of course, there is a short time uh, period to, to get to know the teammates and to get to know the system. At the same time, I, I know him, for I, I watched him play for a long time. I, get, I played against him in Turkey a few years ago. I, I know he's a player who can uh, fit uh, quickly and adjust to what the team needs. And I expect a good performance, knowing that it's his first game and after three, four day practice. Well, of, of course, uh, not not being able to get the championship in, in the Arab Championship. Um, it might affect us, you know, but at the same time, we are a team that always focus on winning, but we know that we will not win every match. We will not win every championship. Any team does. So uh, I feel like uh, we have to like close the chapter of the, of the Arab Championship, learning from the things that we didn't do well, especially on the semi-finals, uh, and, uh, and uh, focus on the next uh, game, and Zamalek game, knowing that it will be a totally different uh, because of the intensity, because of the, the power that the Zamalek team plays with, and because it's a final, it's a one-game championship. It make it, it make it a little bit special, a little bit different. I don't have, uh, I, it never happened to me before, so I don't, I don't have uh, neither a, a positive nor a good, nor a negative, sorry, uh, vision. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it because it's the first time. Uh, I guess uh, for, uh, for, uh, for, the, like for presenting the Egyptian basketball in other parts of the Middle East is good. Uh, also for bringing there a big, such a big game like Zamalek and Ahli, uh, it's also good. But at the same time, uh, there is the part of uh, our fans and like, you know, play these type of tournaments for our fans, uh, which many times they don't have the opportunity. Well, my message to Ahli fans is uh, pretty much the same than usual, uh, winning or losing. I, usually in the last couple of seasons uh, has been more times uh, after winning. It was like thanking uh, for the support. Like I, th I think that we all feel that push and that support from our fans. Uh, I would say that now that after we didn't win uh, the Arab Championship or we may think we are in a worst moment, but it's the beginning of the season. Uh, if the team is facing a worst moment or some players uh, just push even more, you know. Normally it's in the tough times when you need more support. So now it's the time for our fans, and we feel that support, of course, uh, for our fans to be next to us, and hopefully uh, we can bring this championship for them.